Hello everyone, Namaskar. I hope you are fine. So we are here with uh, yet again another question from a partial differential equation. So today we will learn how to calculate CF and especially PI which is the particular integral in case the RHS is of this form either sin AX plus BY or cos AX plus BY. In both the cases we have the same method. So we will learn that and also if you are uh, not aware as to how to find the CF we will learn that also. So let's uh, start with this question. So this might be given one step before also. They might uh, uh, write uh, things like uh, del 2z by del x square as r. Okay. So in this uh, question that is not written. Uh, they have given uh, simply this. Uh, moreover, we know these notations uh, up to some stage only. We don't uh, know the notations for del q, z by del x q. So, because nth order can be given, so this notation is preferred in this case. Now, what to do after this step? So, whenever you see del 2z by del x square, what we used to do, we write this as d square. Okay. Whenever you see del by del x, you write d. But whenever you see del by del y, you write d dash. Same is here also. Del 2z by del y square, you write as d dash square. So when whenever you have del qz by del x square, del x cube, sorry, so that will automatically be d cube, and same is here also del cube z by del y square will be d dash cube. So we have to use this notation and write the given question in d and d dash format. So if we write so. I hope you will remember these notations. So this will be d cube minus 4. Now from here del 2z by del x square can be written as d square and 1 del by del y can be written as d dash okay, plus 4 times del cube z by del x del y square. Now del 2 z by del y square can be written as d dash square and 1 del by del x can be written as d. This equals to 2 sin 3 x plus 2 y. Now this will also uh, it is we have to everything is there Operating on z, so we will have to write operating on z equals to 2 sin 3x plus 2y. Now, the first step towards writing our complementary function will be to find the auxiliary equation as we used to do in ordinary differential equation as well. So, how to do that? There also you have some notations. Uh, we write d, we replace d by m and d dash by 1. So if you do so, you will get m cube minus 4m square plus 4m and equate it to 0. What we, how we can solve this? Take m common, m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0 m common, this is m minus 2 the whole square. Equals to 0. So m, m minus 2, m minus 2 
equals to 0. From here you are getting m equals to 0, so I can write m1 equals to 0. And 2 repeated is coming, which is m2 and m3, both will be equal to 2. Fine. So we have got the values, now we can easily write our CF. How we write CF? In case it's uh, distinct, then we usually write F1, Y plus M1X. Because M1 is 0, so you can write 0 into X plus F2, Y plus M2X. M2 is 2. Now because third one is repeated, so as we used to do in OD, we used to multiply by 1X. So you multiply by 1x and f3 y plus 2x. So this is your cf. Uh, you may write this as simply y also. So f1y plus f2y plus 2x plus x times f3 y plus 2x. Now coming to the particular integral portion. So that is 1 upon this, which is d cube. Now, uh, what I can, what I am doing is, in this expression I am taking d common. So if I do so, I will get d square minus 4 d d dash. Okay. Plus 4 d dash square. And this will operate on the entire RHS, which is 2 sine 3x plus 2y. Now, how to solve? As I told you, you will learn how to solve this particular integral problem. So, this is sine ax plus dy. So, a here is 3, b here is 2. So we replace d square by minus of a square, not minus a whole square. This is incorrect. We have minus and then a square. So we have to take in mind, take this in mind. So and then d dash square as minus of d square, d d dash as minus of a. These are the notations. Now if you use the same, I can write my pi as 1 by d, I can write separate. And here in denominator, it's always preferable to check denominator separately, whether it is coming 0 or not. If it is coming 0, then that is a case of failure. Then we have another method. But let's check whether this is coming 0 or not. So if you put d square as minus of a square that is minus of 9 minus 4 times of d d dash i will write as minus of ab that is minus of 6 plus d dash square i will write as minus b square that is minus 4 minus 4 into 4 minus 16 so this is coming out to be minus 9 plus 24 and this is minus of 16. So minus 25 plus 24, minus 1. This is not coming out to be 0. So we will write it as it is. This came out to be minus 1 and this as it is, which is 2 sine 3x plus 2y. Now 1 by d. In this question, we have assumed del by del x. As you can see here, as d. So, its reverse will be 1 by d. So when doing 1 by d, you will integrate with respect to x. Concentrate here. Because del by del x was d, so 1 by d means integration with respect to x. So here will be, this 2 comes out, so minus 2 
and 1 by t means integration sin of 3x plus 2y so your pi is coming out to be minus 2 integration of sin is minus cos so 2 cos 3x plus 2y divided by this it will be treated as constant divided by coefficient of x which is 3 so you got your pi okay now cf plus pi is your final answer we don't write constant here so y uh, sorry z equals to cf plus pi so z equals to cf was f1y plus f2y plus 2x plus x times f3y plus 2x and then your pi which is 2 by 3 cos of 3x plus 2y. So this becomes your final answer z equals to f1y plus f2y plus 2x plus x times f3y plus 2x plus 2 by 3 cos 3x plus 2y. So I hope you learned something. First step was to convert this form to d and d dash form. Then find auxiliary equation for that replace d by m and d dash by 1. Solve, uh, find the value of m1, m2, m3. Cf, f1, y plus m1, x, f2, y plus m2, x. Because these two were repeating, so for second we multiplied by x. Coming to the particular integral, I took x common. For this we have rule that we replace d square by minus a square, d dash square by minus b square, d d dash by minus a b. We did that and we got minus 1. So 1 by t was equivalent to integration with respect to x. We did that, we got pi. Final answer is cf plus pi. That's it. So I hope you learned at least how to find pi in case RHS is like this. Then cf you already know. In this case, distinct and repeated both uh, was there. So you learned an extra thing here also. So I hope you enjoyed it. Learn something from it. Thanks and have a nice day.